guests are the writers, producers, and stars of the new movie, Dicks the Musical, which is in theaters everywhere now. Let's take a look. This is crazy, right? Totally crazy. I mean, what are the odds of working with your long-lost twin? I don't know, one in four, three in four? It's crazy. Crazy. But wait, I can't believe Mom and Dad split us up. Like, is that abuse? Did they abuse us? We definitely experienced abusement. Oh, my God. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, my life is awesome. No, 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 my, 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 mine is awesome too. I have an amazing job. Amazing job. Always dating some big lady. Stunning big ladies. I always get the things I want, except for a real family. Single parent homes are not real families, that's true. Mm -hmm. What do we do? Please welcome to the show, Aaron Jackson and Josh Sharp, everybody. <laughs> Congratulations on uh, this incredible film. We've been lucky to have some of your co-stars. Uh, Bowen Yang was here. The great Nathan Lane was here. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, and then there's some other. Megan Mullally's in it. Megan the Stallion's mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Stallion and the Mullally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really. Uh, you almost have like the royal flush of the whole cast. You did an incredible job. It must be uh, thrilling to get people like that to do uh, this very singular piece of work. Mm -hmm. Sure. That's a nice way to say crazy. It's so. <laughs> it is so deeply crazy. Nathan Lane, who's done so many crazy things. Things. Yes. Basically said it's the craziest thing he's ever done. Mm -hmm. A badge of honor to hear that from Daddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, truly, we wear that with pride. So this is a show you guys used to do on stage at UCB. Yes. And I don't, I don't want to give too much of the plot away, but it is sort of a parent trap type film. It's true. Right. We're using the parent trap as a device because um, it's really one of the oldest story structures we have. There's like Romeo and Juliet, The Odyssey, and The Parent Trap. Yes. Those are sort of... <laughs> Accepted narrative modalities. And you can see from that clip, um, we're sort of, we're playing heterosexual men. Yes. But we are not we're heterosexual not. men. Yeah. So it's actually very brave. And, yes. um, <laughs> yeah, thank you. I, in fact, in the opening of the film, I just in case, you're not breaking news here because I believe the opening of the film has a title card saying how brave it is. Yeah, we yeah. want Oscars we bad. Want... Yeah. And this is how you win an Oscar. Yeah. I believe you say it's the first film ever written by a gay writer. Yes. Yeah. And... I know your show is researchers. We don't. So if that is wrong, <laughs> yeah. don't tell not on us. Not on us. <laughs> how do we do playing straight? Yeah. Oh my God, it's so believable. Really? You lived in. <laughs> yeah. I, felt very, I felt very great. Thank you. Um, it was so nice to see, finally, it's like, see myself represented. I yeah, I totally. Know. You know what I mean? I know. <laughs> I lived as straight for like 18 years, so it was method, the work I had done. <laughs> God, yeah, yeah, it yeah. showed up. It <laughs> really showed up on screen. You call them big ladies, right? Right? We right? do. That's an industry term. We do industry, <laughs> the fellas. I mean, you, uh, of the many things you had to do, it, you uh, actually wrote a rap and then had to send the lyrics yes. to yeah. Megan, Megan the Stallion. Stallion. And yeah. she's, uh, she's rapped before. Yeah. And yeah. She's rather good at it. <laughs> yeah. rather one, good at it. A lot of people say it's one of the things she's known for. Yeah. I would say <laughs> top four or five things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but then our gay asses wrote a bunch of words and yeah. we're like, she won't say them. And then she rapped every single one of those words. There's like, there's, a, there's amazing footage of, jo of Josh just like rapping it into a cell phone to like send to her manager. And then she just listened to that rap and was like, great, I'll do it. <laughs> and when she showed up on set, she was like, she, we, we were rehearsing. She was like, I just want to say, people say I'm dirty, but y'all are dirty. Yeah, again, <laughs> profound badge of honor to have Miss the Stallion say, you have done me right. Yeah. <laughs> this is dirty. This Do is you have trepidation when you send, when you record a rap? Well, or? I was told it would just go to her manager and not her, yeah. so yeah. I was hoodwinked. And then she showed up and was like, you got bars, young man. Yeah. So, <laughs> What did you think? You, did you think the, uh, the manager would then wrap it to her? I what don't is... know what I thought. I thought it was just like, I, really, we kept expecting her to be, to say no. Yes, I, at every yes. point, I was like, someone will hear this and go, she's out. She, she can't possibly It's really be wonderful because, the, you know, and it's very early. But when she shows up, yeah. she shows up with Intense an energy applause. where she's like, I'm, I am game. I'm in on this. She was so cool. She, I mean, she was amazing. And uh, uh, now Nathan Lane talked about his, uh, his scene partners are the uh -huh. sewer boys. Uh -huh. I don't want to give too much away for, about the sewer boys, uh -huh. but he did bring them on the show. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, the sewer boys are sort of a, a <laughs> subterranean 
creatures that he adopted so and pretty. keeps in his apartment. They're so beautiful and also pretty. Yeah. Um, Gorgeous. Can I correct the record? Everyone, including on this program, has called them puppets. Right. These are actors. These are that actors. Cast. Yeah. Yeah. We, they came in, they auditioned for the role, they just brought something they to it. They did great. Uh, we, uh, so Nathan brought them to the show, and then they actually stuck around our offices and did Yeah. Hard. They work hard. Hire them for admin. Hire them for admin. <laughs> or for acting. They're so good at admin, though. So they good are. At, yeah. They are. We read, uh, we read Chalamet for them. Yeah, Jennifer Ooh. Lopez. Jennifer Lopez. Chalamet <laughs> came in for a sewer uh -huh. board yeah. and he didn't get us? Oh. This close. Oh, he has the authenticity. <laughs> yeah. He is very good. Yeah. Yeah, he he read Fallon. <laughs> oh, really? He's mad. That's why we're oh, here. Oh, that's yeah. why you're here. <laughs> yeah. um, there is some really, so because again, Parent Trap, you then, uh, you then switch wig. Well, you switch hair, so it's wigs. Yeah. And um, and there even uh, I will say like even Nathan's character points out that the 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 wigs it looks like a cheap wig. Yeah. It does not feel like you maybe spend a ton of money on the wigs in this film. <laughs> no. Here you guys are with opposite wigs. <laughs> so it, now I know this is both. Look, this was a. <laughs> Wait, could you even tell that that was us? How was sad. Could you even? Who is who? No, I mean, when did you? It is very funny because uh, obviously the first time you guys see each other in the movie, you're, you're taken aback by how you look identical to identical. one another. <laughs> would you remember the day when, as you you know, young improvisers, you first came up with the idea of like, wouldn't it be funny if we had this as the jumping off point? Yeah, we were like, for sure, this will one day become a movie. Yes, <laughs> this is the normal like um, how most movies are made. They you do them in the basement of a grocery store. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then um, and that's Kramer versus Kramer. Yeah, that was started that started. way. Yeah. Did, have Park. your parents seen the film? They have. They have. Okay, yeah. and. They're like very lovely Southern people who yes. you think wouldn't like this, and they love it. That's and great. I think furthermore, they love that we have health insurance. That's great. So I think that is like. That's great. You guys deserve it. <laughs> and uh, I also want to note that the Sewer Boys, which we, you know we had here, and then uh, we returned to A24, which uh, which yeah. made the film. Um, you wanted to keep Oh, yes. yes. So the last day of filming, everyone keeps calling them grotesque. I, we find them to be beautiful. I don't see that. I don't see, I don't <laughs> see that. And the last day of filming, we had this whole plan. We're like, we're going to steal the puppets yeah. so we can keep them. A24 caught us. They're like, you cannot do that. We need them for reshoots. They might one day go on Seth. Right. Yeah. And then, um, but they said, we promise you when this movie cycle is done, you will get them. No one <laughs> wants them but you. <laughs> Well, it's nice so to know they're ours. finally going to end up in a loving home. Yeah, when they we're going to hold... admin. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> there are assistants now. Uh, guys, congratulations! Thank it's you so bro. much fun to watch a film. Thank you. Like anything I've ever seen, <laughs> and it's so great to have you both. Thank you. Thank you. And they're you doing. Guys. We were asked to say they're doing sing along. Sing along oh, yeah. screenings. You guys are going to do sing along screenings of the movie. That's going to start this week, or yes. yeah, that's this week right. they're doing with the words on the screen. All right, well, they did that for uh, Oppenheimer yeah, too. Yeah, Oppenheimer. But they're going to do a sing along, sing -along. Oppenheimer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great, they should. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Aaron Jackson, Josh Sharp, Dix the musicals and theaters, and the soundtrack is available now. Stick around. We'll be right back.